All right, what we have to do in this problem is figure out what the value of x is. And x is the distance from here to here. So it is one of the two legs of this smaller right triangle. Now, what we should notice about this figure is that this larger triangle right here is similar to the smaller one right here. So if I were to take this yellow triangle here and proportionally increase it, notice eventually it would match up with the larger triangle perfectly. Because these two triangles are similar to each other, we can set up a proportion to solve for this unknown value down here. Because this line segment right here corresponds to this line segment right here, I'm going to write 2 over 6. Now, if we reduce this fraction, that would be 1 third, and that is because 2 is exactly 1 third of 6. So we would say that this line segment corresponds with this line segment, and it is going to be equal to... Now, notice I started with the smaller length first compared to the larger length. So what I have to do now is take this x here and put it on the top. Because I started with the smaller triangle on the top, I have to do the same thing on this side. We have to be consistent when we set up our proportion. So we're going to say that this line segment right here corresponds to this entire line segment right here. But be careful, we cannot put 10 down here because the distance from here to here is not 10. It is 10 plus this x right here. So we have to write 10 plus x on the bottom. Now, what we should remember with any proportion is that when we cross multiply, we are going to get equivalent products. In other words, 6 times x is going to be equal to 2 times the sum of 10 plus x. So let's go ahead and express that algebraically. So 6 times x is written as 6x, and we set that equal to 2 multiplied by the sum of 10 plus x. And now what we do is we take this equation and solve for x, and that is going to tell us the value of x. So let's bring down this 6x to start with, and then we're going to distribute this 2 using the distributive property. So we have 2 times 10, which is 20, and 2 times x, which is 2x. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this term right here, 2x, and move it to the other side of the equation. And the opposite of positive 2x, of course, is negative 2x. So I'm going to subtract 2x from 6x, which leaves us with 4x is equal to 20. Now at this point, we can just use a little bit of mental math to determine that x is equal to 5, because 5 is the only thing you can multiply by 4 to make 20. Or we could just show our work by dividing both sides by 4, and that gives us x is equal to 5.